Hi there, Brian from Mobile Traffic Storm. We've got a simple guide to learning all of the uh, mobile affiliate terms. So we're going to teach you uh, the, the most commonly used words in uh, affiliate marketing. So let's uh, let's head on in. Uh, the water's warm, so we're going to jump right on in to it. So the first word that we're going to discuss is action. Now, action is much more than um, you know, like just going and running or you know, plan or whatever. Uh, action with affiliate marketing or mobile affiliate marketing and mar mobile affiliate marketing is basically a, a sale, a lead, or some sort of a submission, whether it be email submission or a phone number submission. And uh, so, basically, what it is is uh, when the visitor clicks on your link and uh, completes whatever is required with that form. The next one, this is a pretty simple one, uh, banner ads. Basically all a banner ad is an advertisement or a banner used to advertise a merchant's uh, product or services. There's, normally these are either an image file or maybe even a flash file or you know some sort of a video. Click. A click is basically what happens when the visitor clicks on your link, the publisher's link, and, uh, and that's how, how the clicks are measured. Click through. This is the, basically what happens when they click on your link for, uh, for your advertisement or, or whatever content is, and then they go to another website or a page or even a, like an iframe. And then basically what that is, happens is you getting a click through every time that they go to that link. So preferably a, uh, a link that is going to lead to a commission. So I don't think I really need to explain what a commission is. Basically uh, this is you getting paid. So you're going to get paid you know, every time somebody completes that action and uh, for whatever offer you're promoting. Confirmation page. Basically all a confirmation page is uh, the page that the visitor, the site visitor, is going to see once he completes the the form. So if you're doing like an email submit, after the email is entered in and they hit enter, uh, they're going to get taken to a confirmation page. Or if they're completing a sale, they'll always go to a confirmation page. So very important that you do have these. Without them, uh, it, it really is not very effective conversion. This is when a desired action happens. So you make a sale or if you're doing an email submit campaign uh, they put in their email or if it's a, a CPA, a call per action offer where they're, they're calling like an actual uh, phone center or a call center. So conversion is when you convert your click into a sale. Conversion rate. Basically all a conversion rate is is you're going to take the percentage of visitors that take action and then and complete the necessary items required for the conversion whether it's entering in name and address or email or phone number or whatever that particular offer is requiring. And then uh, so to calculate it all you're going to do is take the convert to calculate your conversion rate you're going to take the total conversions and divide that by the, the total clicks and multiply by 100 and that will give you your conversion rate. A cookie. Now cookies aren't nearly as uh, much of a factor in mobile marketing and uh, mobile affiliate marketing. The uh, cookies are primarily stored on a computer. They're a small text file that gets stored on a PC. So what cookies are used for is let's say you're marketing and somebody's using their, their desktop computer and they go to a, the site after they click on your link and that will store a little file and that's how it's tracked so you get actually get credit for that and there's different lengths of time with like a cookie duration um, some depending on the site that you're going to it might be for the day it might be for a week it might be forever uh, the cookie duration is really dependent on the product you're promoting. Like Amazon, uh, they will actually, that cookie is a permanent cookie. 
so it won't change until they actually click on another publisher's um, link and then uh, so you could wind up you could have a potentially have a, a customer click on like an Amazon offer for example let's say you're selling um, t-shirts and they could click on a, a five dollar t-shirt offer and even if they don't buy that that'll still generate a cookie and then if they come back you know a month later if they hadn't gone through any other affiliate sites they could actually wind up you know generating a sale so let's say they go and buy a, a two thousand dollar barbecue grill you're gonna get paid for that so cookie duration is very important with affiliate marketing not quite so much with mobile affiliate marketing though CPA or cost per action basically in a CPA campaign the merchants only gonna pay you the publisher for a completed sale uh, this normally involves a credit card transaction but it could also be something else like an email submission or a phone number submission it depends on the particular offer that you're promoting so what we're gonna do here we're gonna take a quick break um, we're gonna actually go to the next video um, so I'm gonna wrap this one up here check us out at the next video um, mobile traffic storm dot com and uh, we'll be back shortly with another video and we'll get through the rest of the terms thanks for watching